Hello, this is Janet. I wanted to share with you a mini book that I just completed. It was uh, the package I received from Amy at MyTeddyBoo.com. I was a guest designer for her and she sent me the most lovely package. I did a video a few videos ago and she sent me the carriage album die and her link is down below. It's MyTeddyBoo.com. Beautiful, beautiful album. She does the chipboard cutouts of her own designs and then you can get her to do the paper cutouts too and I recommend that because it makes putting the album together much easier. So this is the carriage album die and this is a book that I did of my granddaughter. Princess Alexis has arrived. This I did on vellum and I ran it through my computer and I, as soon as it came out I put on sparkling embossing powder and then embossed it, heat embossed it and the carriage is done with the shabby white embossing enamel from Stampindus. I have a Melissa Francis pin up here. Picture of Lexi in the back behind some acetate and then some trim in the window. It's actually kind of popped up a little bit. Some trim around the windows. Beautiful floral spray here with a flower from Recollections and this is a piece from Michaels. Beautiful Webster's trim that I've had for a while some gorgeous flowers that Amy had sent me. And then the edging I have the black rosette trim all the way around and I also put around the binding I put this black paper from Joann's and I used my EK Success Punch along the edge and then along here I have some heart shaped um, Webster's Pages trim on both the front and the back. So, see that? And then the paper in the background was from Joann's. It was a white paper, looks like this, but I painted it kind of a salmony pink color and then used some glimmer mist to make it sparkly. And that is in the background. And along the edge of the whole album, I used the metallic elegant finish Emperor's Gold by Deco Art. So that, I didn't want just the chipboard showing. I wanted it to kind of look like an elegant fairy tale book. So on the first page I wanted to do the shower or these were the pictures, the maternity pictures that my youngest daughter took of my oldest daughter. So I made a little flap. This is the two of them and I have here in the year 2012 a sweet couple Peter and Sarah anxiously awaited the birth of their first child. And then this opens up and there are more of their pictures. My daughter did a beautiful job taking those. And then this is the next page. Amy did a perfect job of putting this carriage on the page. She just did the cutout, so I didn't want to do too much to the page. So I just kind of embellished this with some ribbon buckles and a pearl center, a W for their last name, a piece of velvet crushed ribbon, a Melissa Francis frame with a picture of my daughter in it, and a little spray on top of the carriage, and a little doily long here. Um, along the center of each page I have a half inch and this one is covered by a crushed velvet trim. And on the next page these were the shower pictures and I have gifts were showered upon the mother-to-be. I made a pocket and stitched around the edge with a decorative stitch. And then I have behind here I have some crepe paper ruffled up along the back side of this pocket and some trim that I had gotten in another book that I had purchased from Amy a while back. And this is pictures from the shower in a little booklet. So, put in pictures. So that just goes right in there. And then this page, I did the black carriage. I used embossing enamel and beauty and black gloss paint. And then I put the gifts behind the windows, I just kind of cut up, fussy cut them out of some of the pictures that we had taken of the gifts at the party. And then here's a pink paisley, um, it's a plastic piece that I painted black with a little flower in the center. This is from the Fancy Frames at Cricut Cartridge, a picture of my daughter opening her gifts. And along the edge I have some Gipure lace and underneath some big wide cream lace all under here and then a spray of flowers and seam binding down in the corner. And in the center of this one I have Tim Holtz tissue tape. So that 
is that page. So on this page, I took some of her new, close to newborn pictures, and I made a little fold-out booklet. So this is a picture of her. She wasn't very old here. And I put lace all around it. And this just unties and then it comes open and it pops out. And then on this one I have her, the day that she was born and that type of information. And then over in this corner I have a flower that Amy had sent me along with some Webster's Pages gray trim that Amy had also sent me and some pink seam binding. And in the back here is some beautiful Prima bling that goes all along the top and the bottom that Amy also had sent me. And this is some beautiful Webster's Silver Rosette Trim. Beautiful. And then on this side, um, Amy sends three of the cutouts with the mini album. And she, can al she also does the cutouts of the paper. So this is some of the In Love paper from the Webster's pages. That is the paper that is in this book. And it's normally a wedding collection, but it worked really, really well for this album. And in this one, I have family and friends came from near and far to behold the precious baby. And I have a picture of my youngest daughter and her husband because they were right here as soon as she was born. So I just did some embellishing with some flowers and some trim. I have some acetate here and a little fabric behind there. A couple of rosettes for the wheels. And in the corner, I used some silk ribbon and some flowers. And a flower that Amy had sent me and another Webster's little heart here. So that is that page. And in the, this flips up and I, I'm going to put pictures of different family members that came to see her in there. And then this page is some pictures that were just recently taken at four months by my niece and she just does a lovely job too and it was really fun. Lexi's really a smiley, happy, good baby and we are just enjoying her so much. So I just have some pictures here of her and it says the baby Lexi grew and was loved and adored throughout the land. And then I have a little flower here. So that's that page. And then I have some of the small rosette trim along the center. And this page is more pictures that my sweet niece took. This does a beautiful, beautiful job. So these are all pictures of Lexi. And I took some of the paper cut it a little bit smaller, also sewed around the edges with the decorative stitch, and then I used a Prima piece that I kind of cut up and put all along here and along here, and some pink seam binding and a Webster's heart. So, I love how that turned out. So I think the album turned out wonderful. Amy, thank you so much. You gave me so many wonderful goodies, and I am so, so grateful. And I hope everybody enjoyed. If you have any questions or would like to see anything else, please let me know. But I do recommend you check out Amy's store because it's very inexpensive, and it's very easy to make an album using her products. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.